Hi, this is Chapman from Free Language, and I'm here with Tim today. Hi. And we absolutely love learning languages, and we're here today to bring you part one of a video series about general resources for learning any language online for free. Now, we've been scouring the web, and we basically want to bring you some of the, some of the best things that, that we've found that have actually been practical and useful for us. So in this video, we're going to present a few of these. If afterward you want to learn or get more in-depth with these, just go ahead and go over to the Learn section on freelanguage.org. Click the language you're interested in, and you'll find simply loads of resources to explore for that language. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into vocabulary, something that you absolutely have to have in order to communicate in a new language. Now, Quizlet.com we found to be quite a useful site because a lot of the work is already done for you, and many languages are available. We're going to go ahead and look here on the left side, all the languages for which vocabulary cards have already been created. Let's take Italian, for example. In the Italian section, you'll see many, many packs of flashcards done for you. Let's do foods and meals, just to go ahead and show you that there are many ways to familiarize, learn, test yourself, and even a few games to practice with. Another good way to expand your vocabulary is to use a word of the day service. There are lots of them out there. We've looked at all of them, and the one we like is from Transparent. If you go to www.transparent.com slash WOTD, you have all of these different languages. So, for example, we want to expand our French vocabulary. Click on the French widget, and here we have a word in context, and it even gives you the chance to check out the other forms of the word. What we suggest is you go to Tools, and depending on your browser, options or preferences, and then you can set that as your home page. Every day, new vocabulary, every time you go on the internet. All language teachers tell their students to read the newspaper in a foreign language to improve and expand their vocabulary. Sometimes this can be a little bit difficult though, and a bit overwhelming because there's a lot of new vocabulary. So why not do this? Copy the URL of the website. So here we have elpais.com, for example. Copy that, and then go to this website here, Lingro. All you have to do is paste it in here, and then choose your language, so in this case, Spanish to English, and then click on the arrow. Watch what happens. What we've got here is an online tool that enables you to read the website of your choice in a foreign language and check vocabulary as you go. So here, for example, simply click on any word that you don't know, you don't recognize, and bing, up pops a little explanation, a little translation. What you can do is actually build up a vocabulary bank from all of the websites that you visit in a foreign language and test yourself on it later. So add word to my first word list, boom, we have it. And to find more content basically to practice with uh, on a large variety of subjects and get free books to download, free ebooks, free books, a great website is gutenberg.org. Now, in order to get quickly to the section you want and the language you want, go ahead and click on Advanced Search. We will choose amongst the many available languages here. I'm going to take Italian as an example again, which is in here. 217 available resources. We'll go ahead and click Search, and all of the resources in Italian show up. Now, let's say that you're interested in Dante, for instance. Well, right here you have many, many different versions of Dante's Divine Comedy to choose from, and down here is the section where you can actually download this ebook for free. More free content for, you know, finding topics and whatnot to practice in is Wikibooks, located at wikibooks.org. Obviously, when you're learning a new language, you need to put theory into practice. You need to communicate. If you come to freelanguage.org, there's a social area where you can have a look at all of the best online resources for language exchange. Some of the ones that we just want to highlight in this short intro video here are busu.com, which has a, actually language courses as well as a beautiful interface to show you uh, how your languages are progressing. Another one is babbel.com which has a community as well as online courses and a very cool vocabulary trainer. And if you're a visual learner like I am, then you'll really ap appreciate all of the images that they've put to help you retain that vocabulary. Another one is myhappyplanet.com and finally palabea.net. All of these are social language learning resources and you can find quite a few more here on freelanguage.org and some actually have to do with particular languages. 
If you're serious about learning a language well, you need good resources and a good dictionary. Our favorite online dictionary is Reverso. It's free and you can even get Reverso on your mobile phone. It's not available for every language yet, but we'll be telling you more about other dictionaries and online resources for other languages in future web tours. But let's have a look at Reverso for now. If we go to dictionary and we type in hmm, free, everyone loves that word. Let's have a look at how it translates in English to Spanish, for example. Click on English to Spanish and it takes us to a very comprehensive list of all of the uses. At some stage, everyone learning another language will have a query about that foreign language they just can't answer without the help of a native speaker. WordReference.com has a service which will enable you to chat about these questions and hopefully solve some of your queries. So it has lots of different resources, but we're going to go down to the bottom of the page here and look at language forums. Now, they're available for all different languages and you can type your question in and hopefully somebody's already had the same question and a whole range of people have answered different possibilities to answer that question. So for example, how do I say I miss you in Spanish? I've always had a query about that. Miss you, English to Spanish for our language choice and then search. This is going to take us to a reference to miss and so here we have dictionary information for the word miss, 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 but here we have all of the different forums all different ways of using that word so let's click on I love you and miss you and here we have all of the people who've offered their own answers and we have extraño tanto mi corazón duele and here we have te echo de menos te echo mucho de menos perfect I've got a choice and at some point you're just gonna wanna do some straight up translation whether it's gonna be a word a sentence or even a whole web page We've looked at many, many services for translating, and there are definitely some that are better than others. One that we'd recommend is Google Translate. You can do the whole sentence, the whole web page, and it has other features as well. Let's take a look here at a sentence that we want to translate from English into French. Now, you just click Translate after putting in the phrase and it'll go ahead and give you your response here, or your translation. This is a machine translation, remember, and you're always welcome to contribute a better translation if you feel that that's uh, needed. Now let's go ahead and do a whole web page here. We'll go back to our example of elpais.com, and this time we want it to go from Spanish into English. So we choose Spanish there, and we choose English here, and we translate simply put in that web address and it'll go ahead and work for you. Now remember this is a machi machine translation so what you'll end up with is a whole website translated by the Google engine, the translation engine. So cool about this is you can actually go ahead and click on any sentence and it will hover over top the original Spanish and once again here you can go ahead and contribute a better translation. Great service, very quick, very helpful. Another online resource is the Verbix Online Verb Conjugator. This is a nuts and bolts conjugator. It's not all singing, it's not all dancing, it just conjugates verbs. Sometimes that's pretty useful. You also have a downloadable version which you can have on your PC. It's not available for Mac just yet. So if you download that clicking here, this is what it looks like. Just look at all of these languages that are available incredible so let's go to Spanish for example and let's say we want to conjugate the verb to dance bailar let's see what it says pretty comprehensive you've got the subjunctive and you've even got the imperative you've got the conditional everything you need and if you found this video useful please be sure to go ahead and sign up for our free newsletter and our RSS feed and if you're interested in jumping into even more resources there is a lot here at freelanguage.org. You can go to more, click on list of all resources, and well, you've got enough to keep you going for quite a while in a lot of different languages. Please do be sure to leave your comments because this will help us gear our efforts for the next videos that are upcoming. Thanks a lot for watching today and uh, we appreciate your comments. Thanks for listening.